Um, so yeah, I just want to um, let you guys know a little about um, spiritual attack like sleep paralysis and how you can fight it off and why you're experiencing it. So first of all, um, sleep paralysis is completely demonic. Um, um, when you're basically sleep paralyzed, you're basically the demon attacking you basically. And even demons spiritually attack, they can basically attack you in your sleep and wake you up. They just want to ruin your day basically. And they basically do whatever saint tells them to do and if they don't they're going to get scorned so they try to get you to sin and w there's demons all around but not everyone comes under spiritual attack um there's always demons trying to tempt us to do stuff but that doesn't mean that spiritual attack spiritual attack is mostly in your sleep i know scientists they come came up with some theory which is completely wrong they say um you come under sleep paralysis when you're when your brain is awake but your body is asleep that's completely wrong sleep paralysis is completely demonic and if you've experienced it you know what I'm talking about I go through it all the time there's demons just they're really annoying but yeah what can you you just have to rebuke them in the name of Jesus Christ so basically um you can come under uh, spiritual attack for several different reasons first of all um you can come under um spiritual attack if you fell heavy back into sin Let's say you gave your life to Jesus Christ, and um, but you're still sinning. You're not repenting. You're, you're basically, yes, you believe in Jesus now, but you're still living how you were living before you didn't. So basically, you're opening up, um, you're opening up a gateway for demons to come and attack you. And that's what happens. You just uh, gotta. So you basically gotta stop with the sinful lifestyle. You gotta repent. You, you got. Don't go back into how you were living before you were saved. And also, once saved is not always saved. I made a video about that also. And, yeah, and you can also come under spiritual attack if if you have uh, demonic statues in your home. Like, like, you know what I'm talking about. There's a lot of demonic statues. And also, if you have demonic clothing. I was coming, I was actually coming into spiritual attack because... I was I was sleeping with a t-shirt on that had demonic design so now I just stick to plain colors. Now, I don't wear anything with skulls or anything. Like anything that might be demonic just stay away from it. If you if you don't you might be opening up a portal for uh allowing demons into your life. And also um when you do come under spiritual attack, you got to realize it so you will actually realize it so you got to just say it out light out loud. Um, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus Christ and also remember the the name Jesus Christ it has power it's not just an ordinary name demons and the devil they're scared of that name and I came under every time I come under spiritual attack I actually rebuke the demons in in the name of Jesus Christ and they basically leave me alone so yeah that's what you got to do anything that can be demonic uh, okay, actually stay away from your stay away from sin you gotta you gotta be clean um, you gotta be clean so you get raptured um, I made a video about that. You can go check it out. Just you, got, you gotta live for Jesus now. Stay away from sin. Um, by staying away from sin, you will actually close the portals that demons have to. Demons have to come enter you. But even if you're clean, even if you're barely sinning, everyone sins. It's I know, I know. I'm, everyone sins. You, if, I wish people didn't, but everyone does. It's it's basically unpreventable. But when I'm talking about sin, I'm talking about like heavy sin. Well, even, uh, actually, I'm not sure, I'm not sure, um, it could be any kind of sin that could open up portals to, portals for demons to enter you, so, just, just stay away from sin, don't open up the portals for demons, like, even after I gave my life to Christ, I came under a spiritual attack for a month straight, and I didn't know why, because no one told me about it, but I was still, I was still, I was still sinning, so I was opening up portals for them to come in take out like ruin your day basically that's what demons want to do either they're tempting you to sin and you won't realize it that's why a lot of time you can be sinning and it's because demons are tempting you don't let their temptation don't let their temptation fool you don't fall for sin there do not fall for their temptation just rebuke them in the name of jesus christ give your life to jesus stay away from sin and also even if you're a christian even if you're not sinning um, there might be, there still might be times when you can come under spiritual attack because if this does happen, this means that the Lord is testing your faith. So he's allowing, so he's basically allowing um, demons to try to tempt you to do something 
only to test your faith. He wants to see even even after their temptation, you're still staying strong to to his will. So basically do Jesus' will. Just live how he go read the old testament and live how he said you should live. Um and, and any fa if any pastor tells you something that's not in the Bible that's that's opposite to what Jesus taught, like um, if it's opposite to what Jesus taught, um, rebuke him in his name. That that pastor or the person telling you is not is not doing the will of God. They're not saying what. They're not telling you how God exactly wants you to live. So yeah, be ready for the rapture. Stay away from sin. Repent. Get a King James Bible. Read it daily. Give God glory. Yeah, that's pretty much it. And yeah, close all those close all those gaps that you're allowing demons whether it's clothing whether it's statues whether it's sin um yeah that's pretty much what i wanted to tell you guys um all glory to god because all glory belongs to god um i take no glory in this and yeah uh, god bless